Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can accelerate transformer trading jobs with AWS Trainium, a new custom chip by AWS that's been specifically built to accelerate machine learning training jobs. Starting from a vanilla transformer training job, I will update it using the Neuron SDK, which is the, the AWS SDK for the Trainium chip. Um, and first we will run this job on a single neuron core and then I'll show you how to do distributed training on multiple cores. Okay, let's get started. Before we dive into the code, of course, there are a few pages we should check out. Uh, the first one, of course, should be the Trainium product page. So if you're interested in, in the benefits and some of the specs and the features, uh, this is uh, this is a good place to start and i think what's most relevant right now is there are two different sizes we can use trn1 2xl with a single accelerator or trn32 xl with 16 accelerators of course i'm gonna go with the big one okay just be mindful of the uh, of the price um, i'm not paying my bills but you probably are okay and the next page that's very important is, of course, the, the Neuron SDK. So Neuron is the SDK for uh, Inferentia and now Trainium as well. Uh, so make sure you're actually reading the Trainium documentation because both tend to be a little bit mixed. And, uh, and you'll find the setup instructions and some tutorials, etc. Um, so that's where I started from. I have to say I did find a few gaps here and there. So now I came up with my uh, kind of a, my own version of the setup, uh, which of course I, I will share with you. Uh, but generally, this is uh, this is a good place to start. Um, and you also may want to check out the samples. Um, so the Trainium samples are actually the Neuron X samples in here. There's not a lot, but you know, uh, I guess it's enough to get started. Okay, so what are we going to do in this demo? So uh, I'm going to start um, not from one of those examples because you know how I feel about pre-cooked examples. You know, they always work, uh, and I, I much prefer to start with my own code, my vanilla code, and then adapt it for hardware acceleration. Uh, just like I did in the in the Abana and the GraphCore videos, and I'm going to do the same here. Um, so I'm going to start from one of our tutorials, uh, which um, you'll find here. This is uh, a fine-tuning job where we um, fine-tune a classification model on the Yelp uh, data set, right? So restaurant reviews for a change. Okay, and because um, Trainium does not support the Hugging Face Trainer API. And, you know, that's a shame, by the way. So uh, AWS folks, if you want to fix that, you know where to find me. I think this would be a great benefit to everybody. But because it's not supported, I've decided to go, you know, one level down and we're going to use PyTorch, okay? So we're going to start from a PyTorch fine-tuning job um, using a, a, still a model from the hub and a data set from the hub, obviously. And we're going to adapt it for training. Okay, so if you're curious about the, the base example, um, it's it's that tutorial. And again, you'll find the link. Okay, so um, where do we go next? Well, I guess we go next to the EC2 console. And in the interest of time, I've already set up the instance uh, because, again, I will provide all the instructions. We'll take a quick look in a second. And it's not fascinating to look at all those... Uh, uh, you know, apt get uh, and, and pip installs, etc., etc. So I, I've already done that. Uh, one uh, important notice is uh, make sure you're using um, the North Virginia or the Oregon region because at the time of recording, this is the only uh, place where you can find Trainium instances. Okay, so I fired up this Trainium instance, set it up, and uh, I'll, I'll quickly fly through those steps because I really want to focus on the code uh, modification part, okay? Let's take a quick look at the setup. Ideally, we would find um, an AWS AMI completely set up, 
for Tranium with the Neuron SDK, etc. Um, as it turns out, uh, I didn't find one. There is one called uh, Deep Learning AMI Neuron, um, but you know, I'm guessing it's still missing bits and pieces. Maybe it's for Inferentia, I don't know. But uh, you know, I got some import uh, Python import failures and other problems when I try to run Tranium stuff. So, so I moved away from this, and instead I used uh, a base Deep Learning AMI. And, uh, and started with this uh, configuration guide, okay? Uh, so a fresh install. And we can go and take a quick look. So there are a number of steps, you know, where you, you need to do all this stuff. And, and, you know, just curious why from a fresh install you need to remove stuff that's not supposed to be there. But, okay, that's maybe just me. So let's not be too grumpy. Um, so generally, this is what I started from, but I did find a few gaps and a few, you know, pitfalls here and there. So I came up with my own version of this, uh, which is this. Okay, and again, I'm not explaining all those steps. Uh, they're not too difficult. Um, make sure you're using an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Okay, this is the actual AMI that I used. And then, you know, you configure your repositories, you install some uh, some native stuff and some Python stuff. It's, you know, it's straightforward now that you have that list. It should be f fail proof or at least idiot proof. And the best proof it's idiot proof is it works for me. OK, um, make sure you have the right version of PyTorch, um, make sure you have um, this version of NumPy and Protobuf, uh, if you have a more recent version, the Neuron uh, model compiler actually dies and complains. So, um, yeah, so I had to add that stuff. Uh, make sure you have the Neuron tools in the path. And the rest is generally pretty straightforward. Okay, so, uh, you know, I removed some unwanted steps, added some, you know, failed proof checks. And, you know, I tried this two, three times from a fresh instance, and it did work every single time. Okay, so should, you should be fine. And then you can clone, uh, you can clone my code, my demos, which we'll look at in a minute, install some requirements, and then run some stuff. Right? So that's where we are right now. Okay, so why don't we SSH to that instance and run some code? Okay, so I've logged into the instance. There are a few quick setup steps. Uh, first, of course, I want to make sure I'm using my virtual environment where I installed all my, all my dependencies, especially since we need to have that older version of NumPy. And we also need to make sure we have the Neuron tools, like Neuron LS. Okay, so we see our 16 devices, each one has two cores, so we can train on up to 32 cores. Not all topologies are supported. Uh, we'll get back to that. And on um, that second shell here, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, just grab the pass so that I can keep an eye on what's going on with Neuron Top, which is the equivalent of Unix Top. Right. Now we can move into my code directory. So in this directory, we see three training scripts. The first one is the CPU GPU script. Okay, the starting point. This one is the single core, uh, single um, uh, neuron core training script. And this one is the distributed one where I can run on up to 32 cores. Okay, so let's take a very quick look at the, the base uh, job, so to speak. Okay, so load the data set. Uh, we'll work with the BERT base model. So load the tokenizer, tokenize the data set. Um, I'll stick to 10,000 reviews to keep the training time reasonably short. Um, but maybe we'll launch the full thing uh, when we do the 32 core training job. Build the data loaders. Um, I'm only using the training set. I haven't added uh, evaluation here because I wanted to keep the, the code as short as possible. I select a device, which will be CPU here because we don't have a GPU on this machine. And then the PyTorch training loop. So looping over epochs and batches, make sure batches are loaded on the proper device. 
forward the batch through the model, compute the loss through backward propagation, um, apply the updates uh, thanks to the optimizer, and, and then uh, zero the gradients and move on to the next batch. Okay, so this is really as simple as it gets when it comes to PyTorch. Again, I would love to use the trainer API, but it's not supported. Okay, let's not be grumpy. Uh, okay, we can just run this to make sure that it works. Okay, uh, it's preferable to start from a, a decent baseline. So, okay, it looks like this thing is working. We'll just let training start as a sanity check. Uh, of course, we'll interrupt it because it's going to be painfully slow. Now, what do we need to do to adapt it to run on a tr on Trainium Core? Let's look at this second example. And this is surprisingly simple, I have to say. So the Neuron SDK is plugged into uh, PyTorch through the uh, XLA uh, module. So that's what we're going to be using. We need to import uh, the, the XLA model module here. Uh, we need to set our device as XLA, okay? And then the rest is really the same, loading the data set, tokenizing, blah, blah, blah. Now, obviously, when we switch to XLA, that's where the model will be loaded, okay, on the, on the training chip. And the rest is the same. And in the training loop, we need to add a single line, which is this, okay, uh, basically to uh, uh, to uh, notify the end of the uh, the training step to to the neuron core, okay. And that's it. Um, that's really it. <laughs> so uh, very cool, I have to say. And if you want to save the model. Uh, I guess here we're not doing distributed training. We could probably use uh, PyTorch save, but um, yeah, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use the XLA save, um, which will make sure we only save the model on one device, right? And not on each one of the uh, devices we've been training on. But again, we're using a single core here, so it probably doesn't make a difference. All right, so that's really it. It's very simple. Uh, and let's try and run it. And let's see how that goes. So when you run a certain model in a certain configuration with a certain number of cores, uh, the first iteration will be slower because it's going to compile the model. But the next ones will be much faster because, of course, we have this model cache, right? Uh, so if we switch to the other window, uh, there's probably not much happening, right? Because this compilation step is is taking place on the, on the CPU. So the, the neuron cores at this point are not doing anything, okay? It's going to take maybe, you know, seven, eight minutes. Um, so let me pause the video. And now we're training. We can see progress here. Let's take a look at neuron top and yes we see the first core of the first chip is busy so we'll let it run to completion just to get a sense of the time it takes to train on a single core and then we'll move on to distributed training and we'll start scaling things up okay this first training job completed and i, I run it again and we can see that this time around we're using the cached uh, model, okay? And the cache is at uh, var tmp neuron compile cache. So if you want to start from a, a clean uh, a clean slate, you can just wipe out that directory, and of course you will recompile the model. So I run it again just to get uh, a sense of uh, how long it takes to train without any compilation, and it's about it's about fifteen minutes here. Okay, so now let's look at how we scale things and do distributed training and put all 32 cores to work. Okay. First, of course, we need to add some imports for PyTorch distributed training. Uh, we initialize distributed training here. We grab the number of cores that will collaborate on this job. 
and um, this is the world size it's going to be passed by the uh, neuron sdk of course tokenization is identical and then we need to set up uh, data loading so here the code will work whether we use a single core or multiple cores so if we use a single core uh, we use the data loader uh, no, not a lot of differences here if we have multiple cores we build uh, a sampler to distribute the training set across different cores okay of course based on the number of cores we have here and then we build the data loader we load the model we make sure it's on the xla device and then the training loop iterates again on epochs and batches on the device loader and the only difference is we replace the mark step uh, API from the single core example to optimizer step and basically this will uh, you know gather all uh, gradient updates from the different cores and apply them okay and yeah that's it okay and saving the model is the same although here it really doesn't matter that you use uh, the xla save because you only want to save on one device not on all 32 devices okay so a few more imports um and then uh, mostly uh, i would say standard pytorch stuff on uh, on data loading and, and data sampling okay and this api here so not too difficult okay running this is quite simple uh, we're going to launch it with torch run which is a standard pytorch tool for distributed training but before we do that uh, we need to disable parallelism in tokenization because this code uh, as you saw tokenizes the data set and of course we don't want to do this uh, as many times as we have course you know it's uh, it's a little bit silly and it could actually deadlock and, and crash okay so this um, export here this environment variable guarantees we're only going to do it once okay so now we're ready to train we can fire up our distributed job with torch run which is a standard tool in pytorch and we need to select the number of cores that we want and we can do this with nproc per node node here means uh, aws instance okay so we cannot select a random number of uh, of cores we can use certain topology so we can use one two eight or 32 nodes okay so let's do eight and then uh, we'll try 32 and see what kind of speed up we get all right we're training on those eight cores as we can see um, they're happily blinking in neuron top and things are moving along quite nicely as you can imagine there have been a few compilation steps so let's this one complete and then i'll run it again using the cache to see the actual time so this is the launch without any compilation steps and you can see we're going pretty fast looks like we're going to be you know at three minutes maybe a little bit under so very very fast okay so let it complete and then we'll do 32 cores so i ended up using the full data set which is 250k something reviews and um and this is very very fast right uh, you can see how fast this is moving along um i guess i need to find an even bigger data set to show you the, the linear scaling because the the startup time is not fully amortized so i'll, I'll go and do bigger things but I think that's enough video and, and fooling around for today. So this is really what I wanted to show you, how to do the, the setup, which is a little bit more complicated than it should be, but you know we managed it. And, uh, and just to show you how to adapt your code from CPU, GPU to um, uh, neuron core to multiple neuron cores, okay? And that's it for today. So I hope this was fun. I hope you learned a few things. And as always, keep rocking.